Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out your solar system. Today we're going to be checking out two simulations sent to me by GoombaFan3000 here. So yeah, he's been in the comments recently and he sent me um, two systems for me to check out. So, or two simulations anyway. So yeah, two systems to check out. So yeah, we're going to be um, checking them out in just a sec. But before we get started here, I just want to let you guys know, a lot of you have been asking me how to send me solar systems. Well, it's pretty simple actually. Just um, all you need to do is... Just upload the system, so the Universe Sandbox file, so the U-Box file. Upload it to somewhere where I can download it. So, for example, um, I think um, someone used Mediafire. I can't remember. Someone, someone used Mediafire. Or actually, a few of you, I think, have used it. Um, like, Mediafire, where you upload um, documents to it. And Dropbox as well. I think that um, came up. So, yeah, you can upload your files to that. Then send me a link to where I can download it in the comments. It will go in my spam folder, but I'll be able to see it. So... Yeah, I'll go to my spam folder, I'll, I'll be able to view it, and yeah, there's the. then I'll have the link. Um, and also, just a quick um, thing you can do for me as well, guys. Please only post the, your simulations in the viewing your simulations videos. Like, don't put them in any other videos apart from these videos. Yeah, so just um, keep that in mind. Otherwise, it'll be harder for me to find it. It'll be nice and easy if all the simulations are uploaded in one spot. So, yeah. Anyways, enough of um, me babbling on. Let's go out. I'll get out and check this system here. So this is called the TT55 system. So this is the first system that GoombaFan3000 sent. So, ooh, okay, what's going on here? So yeah, this is the first um, simulation that he sent to me. So we're going to check out both of his if it works. So apparently it has missing data. This happened because of an issue that is now resolved. Save the simulation again to fix the issue. Okay, I guess we'll save it. Let's just save it as a new simulation just so we can view it. Let's just call it, uh, let's just call it one. It's just so it'll be at the top there. So open... And now if we just search one... Okay, here it is. Okay. So here's the system now fixed. All right, so let's see what we've got here. So it looks like as our main star, we've got a five massive sun blue star with zero luminosity. Okay, this could be interesting. Is it meant to be like that or not? We'll, we'll compare it to um, the normal simulation here. Actually, no way. Let's just go into it quick. Okay, so it's going to come up with that again. Does this have... Oh, no, this has zero luminosity as well. Okay, I don't know if it's meant to be like that. What if we just do this? Okay, I'm assuming that's the correct number, um, 567. So if we just go into the number one simulation again. Yeah, I don't know why it's on zero luminosity, but since this option, radius and composition, since this is switched on, I'm guessing it's meant to do 567, but it could I could be wrong. So, yeah, Goomba fan, let me know in the comments if this is wrong. But, yeah, that's the way I'm seeing it. It's meant to be five, or around that value there. Anyway, so, yeah, we've got our blue star. So how large is this? Let's just have a quick comparison with the sun. As normal, because the sun is always like our best thing to scale with. So, if this menu would actually open, that would be nice. Okay, so here is the sun. Okay, so there it is. So, it looks like the size maybe a little larger than Sirius, maybe. Uh, where's Sirius? Oh, a little larger than that as well. So, yeah, there, there is. Similar to these sort of stars as well. Yeah, so there, there's a little comparison. So, there it is. But, anyways, um, we'll just leave it paused for now. So, here's our first object here. So, um, Murat I'm sorry if I can't pronounce this. So we've got M Muratus, M Muratus, I think is how you say that. So as you can see, it's just um, one of the basic little um, asteroid objects, only 31 kilometers in radius. Materials, relatively basic stuff as well. So yeah, there's our first object. So very, very close to the star there. But as you may have seen, there's a huge gas giant here. So it's called Masu. So, ooh, okay, this is looking quite large. Let's just get a comparison with, um, let's compare it to um, Jupiter. Yeah, so this, this guy's pretty big. And then we'll compare it to the largest exoplanet as well. So there, there's the largest exoplanet. So, yeah, this 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 gas giant's pretty big, as you can see there. So looks like a brown dwarf as well, but still a gas giant. So, yeah, we've got Masu here. So it's got a lot a lot of everything, as you can see here. So let's also just lower the temperature just to see if it's a cool color. Okay, so, ooh, that is actually quite an interesting color composition. If you look at that there, it's got... That's like a bit of everything. It's got blue, grey, white, and it's got like a brown bit, and then it's got like a grey at the bottom. Quite a lot of colours in there. So let's just quickly pull it back to about what it was. So it's about that temperature. So that's what it pretty much looked like. So there, there's the gas giant. Very tilted as well. You can see it's really not um, on its axis. It's pretty rotated like Uranus is, actually, if we um, compare it to Uranus as well. You can see it's... um, Yeah, this thing is definitely tipped on its back, pretty much, like similar to Uranus, as you can see here. Yes, that's pretty cool. Okay, I like that. That's pretty good detail. Okay, so here's the first object, Masu B. And this looks very, very close to Masu. I'm guessing if we hit play, this object could be torn apart by tidal forces. Maybe. But we'll hit play at the end. So, yeah, got Masu B here. 
pretty um, similar size to Earth, as you can see from the radius there. So it's four degrees. Okay, it's pretty chilly there. It's reflects um, one. It has reflects all light it receives. So that will be very cold when we hit play, if it doesn't get destroyed, of course. Yeah, and there is Masu B. So a, a sort of black, sort of brownish. There's a bit of black. Actually, what am I saying? Brown. It's not really much brown. You can see a sort of like a, a, a cream color. Then you got like a gray and then a black color. So that's looking cool. Okay, so the next object out. Let's see what we got here. So we got Krakus. Krakus. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. So yeah, this is guys a lot smaller as well. It's a little bigger than Mimus. It looks like. Uh, where's Mimus? Um, there's Mimus. Yeah, a little bigger than Mimus and Enceladus here. So yeah, there is that. Minus 77 degrees. Um, it reflects all of its light as well. So this will stay very cold. Very similar colors, or pretty much exactly the same color composition as last time. So I'm liking the theme here. Then it's all silicate, 100% silicate. So yeah, there is that object. If you want a bit of a better view, here you go. So there is that. Okay, looking good. Okay, so what have we got next? All right, so yeah, all right, that's it for our first planet around this star. So what have we got next? Actually, let's just view how large this system is. Oh, wow, this is very, very um, unique um, shape, that is. And we've got a mysterious fragment we're going to check out at the end, as you can see. That's pretty cool. All right, so what have we got next? So we've we've done Krakus. Okay, so we've got the next object out here. So we've got... Na oh, I really don't know how to pronounce this. Um, let's just zoom onto it. So we got Nastia. Na Na Nastia? I, 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 really, I really hope I'm not saying that wrong, but yeah, apologies if I am. Nastia. Nastia? I'm, I'm going to stop. So yes, yeah, so we got that object there. Then we got the B version of it. So we've got this little small one. So these guys are very close together as well. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, this there's like that's like the theme of the system. The parent objects of their moons are very close, or their um, other bodies nearby are very close to them. So yeah, this guy's at 85 degrees. So how's this um, receiving light? Actually, let's just go on this um, quickly. Hatwood zone. How bright is the star? Any? Can we even see it? Hatwood zone. Is it all out here? Maybe nothing. Okay. What if we zoom in? Is it there? Maybe. Come on, let's go in here. Um, Okay, it looks like this star is so powerful, its Hatchel Zone won't even show up with 567. So there's that. All right, so let's go back to... Um... Wait, where's it gone? Blah, blah. Okay, yeah, over here. There it is. Yeah, so we had... Um... Yeah, I'm not going to say that again. <laughs> so we got this, and then it, we got its B, B version. So we got the little moon. All right, very small in size as well, these guys. All right, so next up, we've got IK75. And this is a Earth-like or Earth-sized um, object, actually. So... Here is this, then it also has a little moon as well. Nice and little moon. So 83, so also very small. Now this guy is relatively large, so you can see there's its composition. So 90% silicate, 10% iron. Uh, let's see, it, it absorbs all of the light it receives. Okay, so this is the complete opposite of the other objects there. So there is that. Okay, what have we got next? Oh, we've got a very um, unique object. But the next object, as you can see from the orbit here, is the mysterious object. Now, we'll save it till last. We'll, we'll save it till last. So next up, we've got... Um, Elsteroid, I can't say it. I'm so sorry. El, I can't say it. So albedo is 66 percent there. It's all silicate, and yeah, there's its um radius composition and all that. So or ra radius um, and mass anyway compositions there. So yeah, there that object's all just alone by itself. So there is that. Okay, so there we go. Right, now we've got, so the next object is this one here. So we've got Wacko Fleurif. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. W Wacko Fleurif? I can't say these. So, so, so sorry. So, yeah, there we've got this one here. So it's also silicate. Absorbs all of the light it receives as well. Zero albedo there. Doesn't probably receive much light anyway, so it probably won't be very hot here. 61 um, in radius, and then low little mass as well. Okay, so there is that. Right, and now... Let's see what this mysterious object is, since it's got a very strange orbit here. So let's see what we got here. So mysterious fragment. Oh, okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh, completely dark. Oh, it's all like wobbly around here, all glitchy. Okay, so flashlight. Okay, so there it is there. You can see it's like all wobbling. I'm just dragging like I normally would around the other objects, but this one seems to wobble around a bit. So something tells me this was a little glitchy, this one. Maybe that was the problem with the simulation when we tried to open it. Maybe. I don't know. So mysterious fragment. And then um, there's its composition as well. Um, this one reflects 52% of the light it receives. Very low mass, it looks like. Um, and then there's its radius. Centimeters. Oh, this guy is tiny. That's why it's all wobbling, because we're so far zoomed in. So, yeah, this, this thing is very... Centimeters. So, 
Yeah, this is tiny. Now, if we can just compare it to a normal asteroid here. Look at the size of the big asteroid, the normal asteroid. Oh, and it's NASA ski. What a surprise. Yeah, so... Yeah, this thing is tiny. This thing is, like, proper tiny. 93 centimeters. Yeah. That's a size... This is, like, a size of a man-made object. I reckon buildings and stuff are taller than this. So... Yeah, this this is tiny. So this mysterious fragment is very mysteriously small because none of you guys have sent me a simulation with a very small object like that. Yeah, so that's pretty unique. I like that. All right, so yeah, there we go. That is it for this whole system. So let's just quickly go in chart mode here. Just get a view of everyone. So very large gas giant as well. Then we got um, obviously the star. Then we've got the two Earth-like objects here. One of them is a moon as well, remember? Then we have also got um, Krakus. That was one of them. Then we've got the very... Um, much smaller objects which I can't pronounce so apologies so we've got all of these small guys and then we've got the tiny little mysterious fragment look how small he is right there and then we've also got this one here I didn't even notice this one earlier this one's also very small there you go look at that wait where is this in the system wait oh no we did we did view this one didn't we oh, we did I didn't even notice how small it was in radius I'm so I'm not, I'm not used to seeing it in meters usually it's always in kilometers so very very interesting with the small objects there so yeah there you go that is this whole system. But before we um, exit out and show off the other one, let's hit play. What happens? Anything? Anything? So let's see here. I'm so surprised this moon doesn't get torn up by... Um, maybe it will? Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. I don't know how you manage that, but this object is not getting torn apart by tidal forces there. So there's that. Then we'll obviously have this star or this object here. This one is smoking up a bit due to the star's, um, the star's heat probably. So yeah, there is that. So we've got these guys here, then we've got the tiny little object really close to the star as well, so let's just go check on that. So we've got this one here, very cold in temperature though, so yeah, there's that, so it reflects all the light. It looks like um, these were made to reflect all the light, so maybe the simulation was bugged and it was meant to have 500 um, luminosity, but I don't know, I could be wrong, just let me know if anything in this is wrong, because you did see there was an error there, so I don't know what that's all about. So I've never had that even come up before, I've never seen that, so... Yeah, the only thing that seems to be going a little off is this object here smoking up a bit. So, yeah, there is that. And then anything else on the Alsa system? Yeah, there's no way these guys are going to get affected. Yeah, 80 degrees. It's not too much. And the mysterious object, though. What are you doing? <laughs> it's just chilling out there. So this system's are very wobbly, as you can see here. So then we've got IK-75. Warming up a little bit, but it probably won't get too hot. This guy as well. Not very hot. It's cold still. This guy's also cold. And the mysterious object's also very, very cold. So, yeah, that is, that is it for the TT, like, wait, was it the TT, yeah, TT55 system. So, yeah, there is that. So, now we're going to check out Goomba Fan's second system here. Yeah, so we're going to check out his second system. So, let's see if we can find it here. So, um, I've also got some more of your systems here. As you can see, the core system we'll be checking out in a future video. We've got the Trace 2B system there, or the Trace system, sorry, there. We're going to check that out. So, yeah, there is that. But if, I, if there's any, if you just, um, if I just scroll up carefully, if you can see your simulation here, then you don't send it to me again. But if you have sent a simulation and it's not on this list here, then send it again in the comments of this video. Yeah, so we've got this object here as well. But there's actually one I'm trying to um, get going right now. It, it's not working. I, mean, it's, I need to open the file somehow. I'm trying to get it, but it's not working. But it's called the, um, yeah, it's like, from Cyrus Plays. Yeah, um, you sent me it, but I can't open it i can't get the um ubox file of it so can you try and maybe look at that and see if you can get the ubox file so i can download it straight away because or, or give me some instructions on how i can open it because i'm using an rar opener to try and open the file but it won't open for some reason so yeah just um help me out with that if you can please because that would be good but yeah enough of that so yeah um if you don't see any of your systems in here then send them again but i think i think i've got everyone's systems that have been posted apart from um cyrus's plays video uh, cyrus's plays um simulation here so yeah i think i've got everyone's so i've got the core system we haven't checked that out yet we've got the trace system and then yeah i think that's i think that's everything and then now we're going to check out um goomba fan's second one so oh and then this one here this masu and moons uh, this is um his second one so yeah, is it? Let me just quickly check the comment just in case it isn't. So, let me um, quickly find it. Okay, so let me just go to where I downloaded it. So, let's see here. Okay, so yeah, Masu and Moons, that is his. That is his. Okay. Yeah, so this is Goomba Fan's second simulation here. So, let's go and open it and let's see what we got. So, okay. Ooh, okay, completely. Oh, this is, um, this is for the Masu gas giant again. Okay, so this is like an updated one. Just this little gas giant. Okay, so there's a few more objects for us to check out. So, just imagine the star is still here and stuff. So, 
here is Masu again. Then we've also got Masu B, which we um, obviously recognise because we've seen that before. But then let's check out some of these new ones. Then we've got, then we've got Krakus again. Oh, an atmosphere was there a minute ago. What the heck? Do you see that blue glow there? What if I do that again? Oh, that's gone. There's a weird blue glow around that. Just reverse the video quick if you didn't see that. But there was a, a blue glow around this object for a brief second. That's pretty weird. Okay, so this is the only new object here. Ch Ch Chera. Chira? Chira? I think that's how you pronounce it. Also reflects... Oh, no, there's another one. Okay. Okay. So we've got Chira here, so this one, oh, it's, yeah, we already are on realistic, okay. So we got this one here, so it's also quite a small object, just a little bigger than Mimus and Enceladus as well, so there's a comparison. So yeah, 325 um, materials, mostly silicate, a bit of iron as well, and then the last object here is the um, Catherine? Kaf Catherine? sister? I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so... I think that's pronounced Catherine or Catherine or Carfine. I'm, I'm so sorry I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> I'm, I'm so awful at pronouncing things. So yeah, that is that. So yeah, that is everything. So it's also three kilometers this time, not centimeters. And then there's its composition. A little bit of water on it. But yeah, there you go. So there is the um, other simulation he sent. So just a little update to the Masu gas giant we saw previously in this simulation here. So yes, yeah, the moons of this, this one here. So yeah, there you go. Oh god, going then. Yeah, there, there is that. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that is it for um, Goomba Fan 3000s. Wait, is it is, is yeah, Goomba Fan 3000s solar system. So yeah, many thanks to Goomba Fan for sending this in. I'll leave a link to his um, channel in the description and comments. Um, if you want to sub, sub to him, go for it. Cause that, he's made a nice system here. So yeah, thumbs up for me. This is cool. So yeah, there you go. Yeah, quite. I do like that mysterious object though, or the mysterious fragment with the um, the very very small size of ninety three centimeters. I think that that is that is probably one of the coolest objects in here. Like it's just unique. I, I really like that. So, yeah, many many thanks to Guma fans send that in. If you've got any systems, obviously, like I said at the start of the video, leave them in the comments of this video, please. Um, not anywhere else, just so it's easier for me to find them all. So yeah, and also if you like, if you missed me earlier. Um, if you want to upload a system, send me a link to somewhere I can download it. Yeah, so, yeah, but if you want more info, just go back to the start of the video. But you probably all heard it anyway, so, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that is it for this video. So, make sure if you haven't already, subscribe, leave a like, and, yeah, if you've got any ideas for another video, like a what-if scenario or any, like, things like that, because I am planning to get back to doing videos like that again, because we haven't done a what-if in a while, so, yeah, I do want to do that. So, if you've got any ideas for like, videos like that, then just leave them down below in the comments, and... Yeah, that's pretty much everything. So yeah, make sure you guys all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.